Um, I uh, grew up in Boston, um, or right outside Boston, in a town called Newton, Massachusetts. Um, I, my mother uh, went to Mass College of Fine Art for photography for a few years um, and decided it was not for her. But when I was growing up, she was always photographing. She always has a 35mm camera on her. And um, so I was always fascinated. It was always an object that was around. It was, it was modern. It was, you know, mechanical. It was silver. It was, it was something. It was a, a molda. Um, and my mother's aesthetic is very based in antiques. She collects antiques and knickknacks and um, lots of, you know, lots of old cloth and Victorian stuff. And so for her to have this camera was like a very anachronistic thing in our household because it was not a very modern household. Um, so when I, right in between middle and high school, the summer between middle and high school, I uh, took a course, of, a photography course in the high school um, over the summer because uh, you know, I went to camp and I did some time off and uh, I loved it. It was fun and it, you know, my, uh, yeah, my mom took me shooting and uh, you know, I, I still have my very first roll of film that I ever shot, which will, you know, I'm sure go in some biography someday. But uh, you know, so then I then I was like, you know, this was this was cool. It was a fun thing. It was a new process. It was very technological. It was very, you know, it was it was kind of complicated and it was mysterious. And people thought it was cool and I, that I did it, and I got a good response from what I was doing. And so when I got to high school, I you know I said I want to take photography and do the photography major as my elective because it's the first time you know, in high school you get to do an elective which is like a new thing. So it was the very first thing I decided I wanted to do and I didn't get in. And so when I didn't get into the photo program, uh, I asked my guidance counselor what I should do. She said, go and bug the photo teacher um, and just keep bugging him and don't stop bugging him until he lets you in the program because people drop out of this program all the time. So I did and after two weeks, um, he let me in, and he's this really, you know, he's probably the biggest influence of anyone, you know, he really set me on the path to where I am today, and he said, he was a really crude, crass guy, and he said, you better work really fucking hard, because you're coming late to the game, and I expect to see a lot of good stuff out of you. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the very first thing that happened when I got into that photo program, that's word for word what he said. So... You know, and I'm a freshman in high school, I never heard a teacher swear at me, never used <laughs> the F word, you know, it's like, it was such a, you know, so it made a huge impression, and I was like, okay, so this is something that's going to be real, this is something that I'm going to have to take seriously, and this is something that I'm going to have to really, you know, I'm going to have to work at. And, um, you know, I worked really hard, uh, from the second that I started doing it, I felt really good about it, people responded really well, I got, always got great feedback. Um, at the end of the year, I won um, a silver key in the National, Sch Portfolio, National Scholastic Portfolio Awards uh, my freshman year of high school. And uh, <coughs> I um, went on to win more of those awards for my school than anyone had ever won before. Um, and it kind of became my identity for high school. You know, I was the photographer. I was the the photo guy. I was in the photo lab all the time. The atmosphere in my high school photo lab was uh, a really accepting, open, anything goes. He treated everybody like adults. Um, you know, it was kind of a Lord of the Flies sort of situation. Um, you know, it was very socially open. It was not structured the way um, suburban high schools tend to be. So when it came time to go to college, it was only natural that I, you know, go for photography it was my greatest strength. And so I applied to a bunch of places, got into SCA, wanted to come to New York City, so I came here. Um, had a couple years of technical training um, where I kind of stopped focusing so much on photography, even though I was learning the technical end of things, the Photoshop and everything. Um, started living with a bunch of friends who were into theater. Um, really developed an appreciation for other art forms, learned how to play music. Um, start documenting and working collaboratively with other people. Um, and then my junior year, I had a teacher named Marsha Lippin, who was really influential on in me. And she kind of cracked the whip, and I showed her what I've been up to for the last couple of years, and she said, this is terrible. Like, you have to 
we have to do better than this. You know, it was the first time since high school that anyone had, um, you know, given me really just definite, you know, you can do better. Ch ch you know, try harder. You're not even trying right now. So I tried harder, and I came up um, with a portfolio of black and white images um, called Basic Structure, um, which was my first portfolio, uh, my first real portfolio, I would say. It was the first work that I created around a theme. It was the first time I felt on the top of my technical game, and I was not even thinking about the technical end of it. It was really just using the technical end of it to produce a product. And, you know, images and artwork that I thought was was great, and I, I was able to stand next to it and stand behind it and feel really proud um, of myself for the first time. And then I went on, had a great uh, great senior year, worked with some really amazing people. Um, Charlie Trout, um, who's a very well-respected photographer at the head of the MFA program at SBA. And, um, you know, eventually I graduated. Um, before, I, before I graduated, I took a conceptual art course, which totally screwed everything up because, um, you know, if you study conceptual art, um, you know, they really, Duchamp kind of screwed everything up. Um, so, you know, then I graduated. <laughs> um, right as I was graduating, I, 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 you know, everything while I was in college had switched from analog to digital. So there was this kind of conversion going on around me as I was learning basically an obsolete trade, which is darkroom photography. Um, and, you know, I, I did not focus on Photoshop a lot because I was an analog guy, and that was what I did. And then the second half of my senior year, I realized that I probably should pick up some of this Photoshop stuff. Um, <laughs> and so I, you know, the, at the very end of my senior year, I had kind of an identity crisis, and I made this portfolio that um, basically went against everything I had done before, and it's called the theory of everything. And um, in this portfolio, instead of photographing things, it became a portfolio of stuff that I couldn't photograph. Um, I was actually in the middle of producing this work um, right behind me, which was my senior year um, portfolio that I created um, traveling around New York City at night. Um, I to it a little bit here and there, but for more, for all intents and purposes, this portfolio is essentially finished. Um, and I had been making some large prints of the portfolio, and while you're, you know, sitting waiting for these things to print out, they take about two hours each. So, you know, you just sit at the computer and stare at the computer screen while they're printing. And um, while I was doing that, I was collecting these little tiny images of um, stuff that was conceptually interesting to me. Um, atomic bombs and snowflakes and the AIDS virus and it, it solar eclipses and pixels and grains of sand and just all microscopes or ast astronomy photographs of stuff that I was interested in. And I took all that stuff and printed it in the darkroom on traditional darkroom paper. And that became my first project that I really felt like I was stepping away from this idea of being a photographer and becoming a, just a, an artist and photography was the medium I was most and then, you know, and then I graduated and, and uh, I, you know, I started promoting the work and uh, I was introduced to Kipton by um, Stephen Fraley, who is the head of the photo department at the BFA program. Um, and ever since then, you know, I've been making other projects, kind of keeping them back to myself, trying to perfect them, work on them, get some stuff, um, have lots of things in the pipeline. And, you know, and, and show this work around. 